You might have heard of the Jetson Orin Nano. This thing right here. It's uh, Nvidia's little dev kit. It's got CUDA on board and you can use it to do inference. Uh, AI, 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 LLMs. AI. Member asked me, is it worth getting one of those? Or is something like a Mac Mini? Is that gonna be good enough for inference for LLMs? Specifically, is it possible to build a PC or Mac that rivals the performance of the Jetson and still be near the price of it? Well, the price of it is 249 bucks. So that's pretty good, but you can no longer find these at 249 bucks. Very hard to find Nvidia stuff right now. I had to buy this thing on eBay for 350 bucks. So the calculations I'm gonna do are based on that. I'm gonna run an LLM just to give you an idea. I'm not gonna do all of them because yeah, I know you're gonna have comments like, oh, why don't you run 70 billion per, no. No, we're not gonna do 70 billion parameters. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the number of parameters in an LLM, large language model, is how big that model is. The higher the number of parameters, the slower it is, the more RAM it requires. These are very small machines. All right, this Orin Nano has eight gigs of RAM. The Mac Mini has 16, and I'm gonna throw in this tiny little mini PC, which is also, I'd say, one of the cheaper ones, and it's tiny. Uh-oh, I unplugged it just now. Ah, what a mess. This is the Geekom A6 that just came out, and it's got a Ryzen chip on board. So no Apple Silicon, no CUDA. We're gonna see how that performs. By the way, the Mac Mini I have on my desk is in this little Zira case. That way it can have the little power button on the side there, and it's, ah. It looks cool, okay? I just turned them on and they're just sitting there. So here is the power draw for the Jetson Nano, 7.8 watts, 2.2 watts for the Mac Mini, and 3.5 watts for the Geekom. You're not looking at NVIDIA for saving you power, that's for sure. Even such a tiny little device draws three or four times more wattage than the Mac Mini sitting idle. Okay, now I did set up the Jetson Nano. It took a considerable amount of time. I made a whole video for members of the channel. As a side note, if you wanna join and become a member of the channel, thank you so much. There's a join button right down below. You get extra videos of me doing experiments and things like that. So let's do Olama. And I'm gonna do Olama list. There's my Llama 3.23 billion. We're gonna go with that. It's small, it's gonna be representative. It's only 3 billion parameters, usable for things like, I don't know, writing emails, making up silly poems, and simple programming functions. So we're gonna run it by doing Olama run, Llama 3.23b, and we're gonna give it the verbose flag so that we can see how many tokens per second and some stats. Hi, I'm gonna warm it up a little bit. How can I assist you today? As a side note, this is running under Max and Super. So I've upgraded this to the Super software. And that means the power mode is not 15 watts, not 25 watts, but the Max and Super, I, I still think it's 25 watts. They just call it differently, I don't know why. It's at the highest level of power. So we've got 15.38 tokens, right? A JS function, boom. Here's an example of a JavaScript function. Uh, sure, 18.28 tokens per second. That's pretty good, that's usable. And it's coming from such a tiny little device. So these days I'm constantly flipping between models. GPT-40 for notes and email, Claude for code refactors, Flux for image generation, Kling for video, four tabs, four bills, and counting. Enter chat LLM teams. There's one dashboard that houses every top LLM and route LLM picks the right one for you for a given task. 04 Mini High for fast answers, Claude Sonnet 3.7 for coding, Gemini 2.5 Pro for big context, and even adds GPT 4.1 before ChatGPT has it. Chat with PDFs and PowerPoints, then generate decks and docs and do deep research all in the same chat. Need human sounding copy? The humanized toggle rewrites text to beat AI detectors. Spin up agents and run code with AI engineer. I built my first bot in just minutes. Track artifacts, create GitHub pull requests and debug from the same interface. Need visuals? No problem. Use Flux or Ideogram and Recraft for images, Kling, Luma, and Runway for video all built in. And the kicker is just $10 a month, less than one premium model. Head over to chatllm.abacus.ai or click the link in the description and level up with Chat LLM Teams. Now I'm in the Mac MIDI and I'm gonna pop open my terminal, make that a little bit bigger, and Olama. And we do have that model, that same model. Olama run, Llama 3.2, 3B, and verbose. Hi. All right, here we go. 46.78 tokens per second. Write a JS function. Boom. Here's a function. It's 
quite a bit faster. I think it actually has the same output as the previous one, 41.65 tokens per second. So quite a bit faster, more than two times faster than the Jetson Nano, but it's also about two times the price. It also has two times the RAM, so you could potentially run larger models on it. Here we go, Olama run, Llama 3.2, 3 billion verbose on the Geekon machine. Hi, that's that's actually pretty good. 25.16, write a JS function. So this machine is in the middle price-wise and it's in the middle of 21.64. It's a little bit lower this time, but you know, you have your Jetson Nano, which is the benefit of that is that you have CUDA. You have the availability to write code as you would for a larger NVIDIA GPU. You're gonna basically use those same libraries that are commonly available and the availability of code that's for NVIDIA is very important. But the other ones are catching up. For example, MLX format on the Apple Silicon ecosystem is actually catching up and, and it's some instances, it performs even better than the GGUF type of models. I go into this in more detail in other videos. Here, I just wanted to do a quick performance comparison between these types of systems. Now, what's interesting here is the power usage too. So on the maximum, the Jetson Nano used 24.8 watts, very close to the Mac Mini, 27.2, and 81 watts for the Geekom X86 system. The two ARM-based machines are definitely leading the way in efficiency as opposed to x86, but we all know that already. So if we were to do a quick analysis of that, the Mac Mini is definitely by far the most efficient in terms of performance per watt and performance per dollar. The Jetson Aura Nano Super is more power efficient than the Geekom A6, but doesn't perform as well as the Mac Mini. However, as I mentioned before, the libraries that you're gonna have available for an NVIDIA system is gonna be, a lot more doors are gonna be open to you and you can develop stuff on a small scale and then scale it up later. And the Geekom A6, a nice little mini PC, powerful, just probably not for AI use. It's a good little dev machine and I have a separate video on that one. It's the least power efficient choice, but we know it's based on an x86 platform. So there you go. You got more compatibility across all the Windows applications. You can install Linux on that as well, but you lose out on the efficiency and the performance in terms of LLM. So there you go. Hopefully this was helpful to the members and to all of you as well. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out my other tests on other systems for LLM inference, check out this video and this video next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.